Um, in the interests of humanity and on St. Patrick's Day, I've decided to make a, a short video giving something of an overview of what happened yesterday uh, on Tunks Ridge and uh, Hornsby Heights. And I'm writing a detailed, dramatic account of what happened. But essentially it's this. Uh, three months ago, I went to Tunks Ridge. I hiked in with my backpack. And to summarize it, it's a flat piece of bushland. Then you go down into a steep, rocky valley. Uh, and then up the other side, and then there's a track. And you follow that meandering track round, and it's going up, 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 up to the campsite. Last time I did it was in 35 degree heat with a fully laden backpack. It was not a great experience. Um, so this one was a little bit more planned, and it's a cheap tent that I use um, from Kmart many years ago. And I've been watching a lot of camping videos and decided to get this tent waterproofed. So I've got the stuff online and I got the brush and put this waterproofing stuff all over it. And that was handy because yesterday showers were um, expected or forecast. I left home about 11 o'clock. Uh, it's a one hour drive, parked the car, walked in. Uh, I noticed as I was walking in that the barometer was dropping. I made my way down that rocky, um, in, well, I won't go incline, descent. And noticing that every time I lowered my right foot, my left knee jarred and was significantly painful. So then I get to the bottom of the, the valley walk up the other side, onto the trail, follow the trail around. The temperatures are good, it's not too, um, not too uncomfortable. And I made the campsite, I think, maybe just after 12 o'clock. Uh, a few other people came past, fully laden packs. I thought they would be camping at that site, but they decided for whatever reason to carry on. I did notice an abandoned tent at the campsite, all just splayed tent poles, just abandoned, just left. And I didn't know the significance of that until a bit later. Anyway, get the tent all set up, have a beer, make my coffee. Uh, later on, I had a meal, uh, did some photography, photographed an amazing fly, a copy of which I've sent to the museum for identification. And um, anyway, I just sit there, at home with nature, enjoying the animals and plants as I always do. 7.30, it's getting dark, the sun's going down. I hop into the tent, I've got my inflatable mattress, my sleeping bag and everything is sweet. I've got my camera and blah, 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 blah. And uh, all ready for the night. Well, I couldn't sleep for some reason, probably because of the caffeine that I'd consumed. And I'm lying there and slowly the rain starts, just a little pitter patter. And I'm thinking, well, how would I gauge that rain on a, on a level of one to 10? And I thought, well, it's one, just a little, the slightest little you know, drop. And then it slowly increased. And I think, oh, that's two or two, three. Then a bit later, five, six. And suddenly I'm up to seven, eight, nine on my scale. It's raining. And I'm looking at the tent thinking, well, I've waterproofed this, you know, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, a couple of hours go past. I'm trying to sleep, but not really sleep. And then I decide, I think just before 12, to get up for a piss. I go outside with the torch. It's raining, it's steady rain. And uh, I don't feel good somehow. Well, I go in and I lie down. And not long after that, I, I, you know, you put your hand under your head. As I did so, my hand touched the tent wall and it was wet. I get up and there's water coming into the tent everywhere. Uh, and it's look, it's just dripping in. It's just, 
you know, and I'm looking at it and thinking, well, I might just as well not have a fucking roof over my head. And I'm looking at my camera, I'm looking at several thousand dollars worth of photography gear, plus my camping gear, and I'm thinking, well, what do I do? Now, when I walked in, I had the pack on my back with everything in that, and I carried the camera and, and with its lens attached. And I'm thinking, if I walk out of here, which I think I'm probably gonna end up doing, I can't have my camera out in the rain. So, after a bit of thought, I packed the camera at the bottom of the pack in a, in a plastic bag. I packaged everything in there that I could to minimize water getting in. And then on the top of my pack, I put the inflatable pillow, which is plastic essentially, and blew it up so that it kind of kind of sealed the top, pulled the drawstring, sealed off the backpack. So everything I've got now is in the backpack. All I've got is my jeans on and my short sleeve shirt. And it's going on for one o'clock. So what I'm, my plan is, I've got to get out of here. I've got to get out of here. I'll get out, put the pack over here, dismantle the tent, put the tent in its bag, and then instead of carrying the camera out, I'll carry the tent and I've got everything else on my back. Nice and simple. I get out. This is the torch I'm using. This torch is fucking phenomenal. This torch is absolutely amazing. It's incredibly powerful. Um, and it's my lifeline. Now I'm thinking I've got to get out of here. This is going to get me out. I've got until the battery dies on this flash and I don't know whether the rain's going to short circuit it or the battery's going to go flat, but it was charged when I went in. I go out. I'm holding the torch because it's my only light source. It's pitch black where I am. I'm trying to dismantle a tent with one hand. They're those telescopic um, fiberglass poles and they go into sleeves and they go into this and they go into that. After maybe three minutes, I had in front of me nylon cam, I won't call it canvas. I had all this tent poles all over there was no way I was gonna fit it into this bag. But I gotta get out of here because the torch, I don't know how long it's gonna last me and I'm in the middle of nowhere and I am already soaked. What do I do? I picked up the tent and I took it across up the track and dumped it where the other tent had been um, uh, left. And I'm thinking I'm probably gonna report that to the National Parks and Wildlife because I feel very uncomfortable about leaving it there. Um, I don't like leaving any trace of my of my visit into the into the bush at all. So this was a, a very tough thing to, to decide, but I had to do it. I didn't have any choice. So then, pack on, on my back, torch in my hand. Because it was all up coming in at the end of the, the trek, it was all going downhill now, so I was marching. I'm, I'm marching, torch on, light on, well lit. You know, I'm walking along, I'm getting out of there. I get to the turn off where the little gully is and I am absolutely drenched. And I cross the little gully and now it's like that. And it's all rocks all the way up. It's a, it's a defined path, but it's you've got to pick your way through the rocks. And there's water and cascading down like ri rivers. Well, I start, and the, by now the torch has gone to, instead of having a four bar LED, it's gone down to three. So I'm shit scared about running out of light. It's my, it, I'm going up this gully and, to, and it's hard work. I am hot, I am soaked to the skin. Uh, and I'm very tired. And uh, every so often I just sat down on a rock, um, turned the light off and just sat in the rain until I felt recovered in pitch blackness, in absolute pitch darkness. And at one point I stopped and got the water bottle out for a drink and I am just, I started being drunk. I drank the water, I went to put the water bottle in, it missed the um, pack 
it went off, rolled off, and just to, just it hit the edge of a rock. It was and just about went over. I went to retrieve it. I just about went over as well. I'm going up this rock, and it is just it is a nightmare. It's now going on for two o'clock in the morning, in pitch black. <laughs> I'm so, I'm I'm just soaked. I'm just totally, absolutely drenched. I can't get any wetter. And I got I got out of there, I think, at two o'clock, or just after two o'clock, um, and got into the car, and I drove home. And I got home at quarter past three this morning. Uh, every part of me aches. There's chafing all over my body, because when you're so absolutely soaked, and you've got straps here and you've got jeans on and you're really, you know, doing the the exercise. The, the cloth rubs against your stink, skin. So I've got chafing all over the place. I've got aches on me and uh, totally gone. So it's been a, an amazing day. Uh, I don't even know that I feel really that much better now. I am just, I mean, I can still enjoy a Guinness. But, but for this, I, I don't know, it would have been a lot, it would have been a whole lot harder. It would have been a whole lot harder. This torch, if anybody's out for buying a torch, I recommend this rechargeable baby because it really delivers. You can, it had all condensation um, in there. Actually, it has a little bit now that's formed. Um, it, it handled torrential rain. <laughs> And it kept on going. It just kept on going. I, I can't can't speak highly enough of this thing. So that's it. That's my that's my adventure. Yeah, just mind blowing. And I unpacked everything this morning, and everything was reasonably reasonably dry. And the camera gear is, is all good. And uh, I'm writing a full account of it to capture my thoughts and feelings and and uh, all the minute minute details of what happened but that's it folks if that was an interesting experience yeah maybe you'll have one of your own similar maybe not bye